Hello, and welcome to the de-rigging tutorial for the SRX 900 series of line array products. To begin the de-rigging process, lower the array to a safe, workable height. Remove the stop pins from the bottom five cabinets and place them in the storage position in the handle. Attach the vertical transport cart or case bottom by hooking the rear attachment bar to the lowest cabinet and then inserting the stop pin to secure it. Lift the front of the VT or case and attach the front points using the two pins attached to the bottom cabinet. Use the rear handle at the base to pull the lower section back while simultaneously lowering the array onto the front wheels. Nudging the array slightly to one side as the wheels touch the ground will eliminate any unexpected movement as the wheels rotate into position. Continue lowering the array until the gap between the fourth and fifth cabinets from the bottom is fully closed. Set the link bars of the lowest four cabinets to the 12 degree storage position. This must be done working from the lowest cabinet up to allow clearance for the bars to move. The storage position locks the cabinets together for transportation. Remove the rear link pin from the fifth cabinet up and lift the array. Allow the stack of cabinets to roll forward until the cart is resting safely on all four wheels. Remove the front two pins to separate the stacks. If you feel any resistance removing the front pins, bump the suspended array down. Repeat this process for the remaining sections of the array. Once an SRX 910LA array is fully de-rigged, put on the soft cover and install the top of the VT. After de-rigging an SRX 906LA array, cover the entire stack with the hard case lid and secure the four latches. The arrays are now ready for transportation. Thank you for watching. For additional information on the SRX 900 rigging system, refer to the SRX 900 series rigging manual.